This video is still in the chapter of direct sums. Okay, so in this video we we take still another example. This time we are taking a vector space of n squared matrices over the the field of the reals. Okay, so this will be the the squared matrices over the reals. And we are going to pick subspaces U and V, where U is the subspace of uh, symmetric uh, matrices, and V is a subspace of anti-symmetric matrices. Okay, we are going to show that V, the vector space V, is equal to the direct sum of subspaces U and I call this W and I call this, this this should be W, sorry. Okay, so U is the subspace of symmetric matrices and W is the subspace of anti-symmetric matrices and V is a direct sum of U and W. Okay, uh, first uh, let us see what is a... Um, symmetric uh, matrix well uh, a a matrix m is symmetric if and only if the matrix is equal to its transpose okay and uh, the entry symmetric matrices are the matrices where its transpose is the same as minus m. Okay, so we have one subspace of symmetric matrices and another subspace of anti-symmetric matrices. And let us see that V is the direct sum of symmetric and the subspace of the symmetric matrices and the subspace of anti-symmetric matrices. Okay, let us see first if V is equal to the sum of U and W. Let us pick a... we pick a matrix A, an arbitrary matrix in the vector space V. Okay, so we say that A uh, is equal to one of of a plus a transpose plus one half of a minus a transpose. Now we claim that this is in U and that this is in W. So we have to prove that one half of A plus A transpose is uh, symmetric. Okay, let us pick one half of A plus A transpose and let us see what the transpose of this is. So this is a scalar, so that's nothing, right? So, nothing from the transposition point of view. Okay, so that will be the transpose of this, right? And now what we have is one half of A transpose plus A transpose transpose, right? Okay. And what is this? So this will be one half of A transpose. A, the transpose of the transpose is the same. So just to put it in this order. So this is one half of A plus A transpose. Okay. So this one is the same as its transpose. Okay. So as I said before, this one is in the subspace of the symmetric matrices. Okay? 
OK. Now we are going to prove that one half of A minus A transpose, so this one, is anti-symmetric. OK, so we do the same. So we take the transpose of this one, and one half is a scalar, so that will be this one, right? And now what we have here is A transpose minus A, I'm dropping one step here, right? And if now, so this one is the same as this one if I exchange here one sign, right? So if I do one half of A minus A transpose, right? If I multiply this by minus, okay? So minus here, okay? So this one is the same as this one, so this one is anti-symmetric. So any uh, matrix in the space of square matrices can be written uniquely as an addition of a symmetric matrix and a anti-symmetric matrix can be written uh, uniquely. Okay. So we can say that this is checked, right? So this V can be written as an addition of this two. Now two, let us see what um, what is U intersection W. Okay, let us pick one uh, matrix that is in the intersection of U and W. Do not forget that M is symmetric and M in W is anti-symmetric. Okay, so if M is equal to M transpose and M is anti-symmetric minus M transpose, so a matrix that is in intersection, so M will have to be equal to M, so we need uh, this to happen. Okay, or let me, let me write it in a different way. Okay, I can write this will be like this and I'm going to take this sign to this side. Okay, so if M transpose and M transpose, they are the same, so M has to be equal to minus M. Okay, um, but so the only possibility is M being equal to minus M or um, M being zero. And since M is not equal to minus M, what we have here is that U intersection W will be vector zero. Okay? So, conclusion, vector space V can be written as a direct sum of U and W.